So now we have transforming the graph of a function using more than one transformation. So we definitely have to pay attention to whether it's happening on the outside, which affects the y's, or if it's happening on the inside, which affects the um, x values. Then we also have to pay attention to the order in which we have to do things. Remember, multiplying and dividing happens before the adding and subtracting. So you have to find out whether or not something is being multiplied first and get those new values, then figure out if something is being added or subtracted to figure out those new values. So essentially what happens is, is you end up with two tables because you have two different translations going on, okay? And actually you end up with three because we're gonna have the original and then we're gonna do the multiplication um, situation that's happening and then we're going to do the addition or subtraction situation that's happening okay so for the original I'm going to take this coordinate here which is one two three four and the y value which seems to be negative two here we have zero zero and here we have two and negative four so these are the coordinates of the original now because this is multiplying by two outside the base function that means we're going to multiply 2 to the y values and that's not an x that's a multiply okay you can put a dot instead if an x confuses you so just put a times 2 so I'm going to take each one of these y values and multiply them by 2 I get these new y values not done anything to the x's so I'm going to keep those exactly the same the multiplication is either going to happen on the outside or the inside. So you're only going to need to be doing something to one of these columns and the other column will stay exactly the same. Then the last thing I need to do is because of this plus one outside, it means I'm going to actually add one to the y values because it's outside. So then I'm going to take each one of these y values and I'm going to add one, which is that negative three, one, and negative 7 but nothing is happening on the inside so the x values will stay exactly the same and then you just plot these ending results so we get 4 and negative 1 2 3 we get 0 and 1 and then we get 2 and negative 7 so it's about right here and so then we draw that connect those dots and now we have our graph. So it's shifted up one and it's gotten a lot narrower than it was before. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. I'll use a different color. So the first thing I'm going to do is the original points. So this one, this one, and this one. So these coordinates are four and zero. These coordinates are two and four. And then these coordinates are zero, zero. Now I'm going to work up about the multiplication first, or the coefficients, okay? Now it could be a coefficient in here times the x, or it could be a coefficient out in front of the whole basic function. Mine is on the outside, and it's like a negative 1, right? So that means I'm going to um, multiply negative 1 to my y values because it's on the outside. So then I'm going to take each one of these and I'm going to multiply it by a negative. Well, 0 times negative is still 0. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and 0 times negative 1 is still 0. Then I'm going to deal with the adding and subtracting. Now here, the adding and subtracting is a subtraction, and it's happening inside the parentheses. So we know that when it's happening inside the parentheses, you do the opposite. So instead of minus 4, we're actually going to add 4. Not only that, but when it's on the inside, it happens to the x values. Okay? So I'm going to take each one of these x values and I'm going to add 4. So I end up getting 8, 6, and 4. And the y values are not changing here at all because there was nothing being added or subtracted outside the basic function. So then let's see what we get when we graph this. 
So 8 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 0. And then 6 and 4, right there. Oh, I'm sorry, 6 and negative 4. So 6 and negative 4. And then 4 and 0, so it stays there. So it ends up becoming this. Now notice that it did exactly what we thought it would do. It should flip over the x-axis and then shift to the right four. And that's exactly what's happened here. Again, these, the final ones, are the ones you're plotting. Okay, but that's pretty much how these will work. I prefer for you to do it in tables just so you can take one step at a time and you're not doing two things to the wrong person or um, doing the wrong thing to one value and then an another thing to the other value, okay? So take it one step at a time, but always do the multiplication factor first, whether it be out here or inside, and then deal with the outer subtraction later, okay? But keep that same logic. Whatever's happening on the outside happens to the y values and it happens exactly as it is. Whatever's happening on the inside will have the opposite effect and will happen to the x values.